Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to turn your animation into a pixel art style looking animation. First of all, the technique that I'm going to show you is actually kind of a cheating way of turning your animation into a pixelated looking art. It's basically a filter that you put on top of your animation. So if you're looking to learn how to do pixel animation properly, this tutorial is not for you. To be honest, it's best if you have an animation that has less gradient like mine. So if you have animation that has more like a hard edge shadings, that will be better. But this animation will still work anyway. So the first thing you want to look for is posterize. Posterize, not posterize time, but posterize under stylize. Drop that onto your animation. So what it does, it reduces the color tones that your animation have. So it has this kind of like color bending. So I'm just gonna explain real quick what this posterize is. So the higher the number, the smoother the color your animation would have. Cause it just means that there's more color tones. But the less number, obviously there will be less color tones, so it just kind of like turn your animation into this kind of like blocky, hard edge looking style. I'm just gonna reset it because I think 7 is pretty good for this. The next thing is to look for mosaic effect. And this is the effect where it's gonna turn your animation into a pixelated looking art. And basically, instead of like putting the number here manually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in 1920, so that's the width of my composition, divided say 12. And we gotta remember whatever number you put in here for later on. So I'm just gonna enter. I'm gonna do the same for the vertical box, but this time 1080, because that's the height of your composition, divided by 12. All right, now your animation is already have that pixelated looking. I feel like the animation is moving really smooth and I feel like pixelated art or animation would have kind of like less frame rate. So it's more kind of like retro video game looking style. In order to achieve that look, we're gonna use posterize time an effect that we've been using a lot in the past. I usually use it so that my animation would have this kind of like jittery kind of movement so that it looks more like traditional animation. So posterize time, I'm gonna try 12 and see how it looks. All right, it's looking pretty good already, but I think I'm gonna even turn it down a bit more so that it looks more kind of like retro video gamey. Yeah, I think eight works for me. The next thing is to create adjustment layer. So right click, new adjustment layer. And I'm gonna name this grid and then look for grid in effects and preset. Drop that onto your adjustment layer. Now change the blending mode to normal so that we can see our animation here. Now turn the size from corner point to width slider. And the number that we're gonna put here is whatever number that you put in earlier in the horizontal blocks and vertical block. So I put in 12, if you remember that. So I'm gonna type in 12 here. And the border is five and obviously it's way too thick. So I'm gonna turn it down to 0 0.5. So it's kind of there, but it's not very visible. Let's have a look. It's looking really cool, but I'm actually gonna adjust the horizontal blocks and vertical blocks. I'm gonna turn down the number so that the blocks are kind of like bigger so also the animation will look more pixelated so i'm gonna turn off the grid for now so that you can see what's going on so initially i type in 1920 divided by 12 but now i'm gonna try 20 and that's basically gonna make the width of each blocks bigger so the higher the number the bigger the block will be same with this one so that's pretty blocky. I'm actually gonna turn it down a little bit. 1920 divided by 15. And this one as well, 1080 divided by 15. I think that looks good. Now I'll turn your grid back on. And now I'm gonna change the width to 15 because I changed the number earlier to 15. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments or if you have any requests on what tutorial you want to see next, 
please leave it in the comments section below and also i'm doing this thing on my instagram where if you use the hashtag hash high on emotion on your work where you achieved it by following one of my tutorials i will repost it every friday so if you have any work that you want to post on instagram that you did by following my tutorial don't forget to use the hashtag hash high on emotion so that i can see it and i can probably repost it every friday all right thanks so much guys